Howdy, everybody. Join me for five minutes. Today, I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite things, animals. What do you think this strange animal is? Some would say it's a mammal like a little bear. Others would say it's a rodent like a giant guinea pig. Well, since all rodents are mammals, you're both right. This is a capybara. And we're going to learn some interesting facts about this unique animal. The capybara is the largest rodent in the world. Male capybaras weigh 35 kilos and the females can weigh as much as 70 kilos and more. With 140 centimeters in length and 65 centimeters in height, that's a little more than your average guinea pig. The word capybara actually means grass eater and comes from an ancient language spoken by natives of Brazil. Those of you who live in South America can meet these guys roaming around dense forests near bodies of water. Capybaras are actually semi-aquatic, just like beavers, and feel right at home in swamps, rivers, and pools. They even have slightly webbed feet. This may surprise you, but nowadays these animals are becoming popular as pets around the world. Capybara tapushmera, me, I got enough rodents running around already. Let's talk about something else, we only got five minutes. Grizzly bears and brown bears live in Eurasia and North America. They usually don't hunt much, but get up to 90% of their food from plant life. But, if you meet one in the forest and start running, they will chase you down out of instinct. The most important thing is, don't run. Bears can run faster. The best thing to do is to avoid eye contact and walk away slowly. If the bear approaches you, walk away and talk in a low, well, steady voice. Nice meeting you. He'll realize you're not food and move on. Most people think that bears hibernate. Well, they don't. What they do is go into a long winter sleep. The difference is that hibernation, which is practiced by other animals like the groundhog, is much stronger. But a bear's winter sleep means he can wake up pretty easily. During winter sleep, bears lose up to half their body weight. It's also the time that cubs are born. Female bears with cubs can become very aggressive. Partially because, like many other animals, a male bear will kill and eat the cubs of another male if he can. A full-grown grizzly bear can weigh 80 kilos. A full-grown coastal brown bear living on a nice fat diet of salmon can weigh 680 kilos. A famous question about zebras. Are zebras white with black stripes or black with white stripes? A recent study has finally been able to answer this question. Zebras are black with white stripes. The stripes are actually used as camouflage. How does that make any sense? They totally get your attention. You can't miss them. In Africa, when zebras are out grazing the savanna, they stick together in close herds. When a predator, like a lion or a cheetah, comes around, he can't tell where one zebra ends and another begins, making it hard to decide where and how to attack. When the zebras are attacked, they don't give up without a fight. These guys have super strong hind legs and they sure know how to use them. Quite often, they manage to kick off their enemies and run away. Lots of people don't know this, but each zebra has its own unique stripes. There can't be two zebras with the same exact stripes, just like our fingerprints. I saved the cutest for last. These are meerkats. They're close relatives of the mongoose. They come from the African desert and live in family groups of as many as 50 individuals. Meerkats really take good care of each other. Every group is run by a dominant female. She chooses a male she likes and usually they have all the puppies. The rest of the group help them take care of them. And that's not all. Whenever you see a group of meerkats, you're gonna see one meerkat standing guard on his hind legs on the highest ground he can find, looking for predators. Meerkats are very intelligent and have a complex language. When the one on guard duty does see a predator, he has a specific sound for every kind. But don't let that cute little face fool you. They are ferocious fighters. Even though they feed mostly on insects, lizards, and small mammals, they also hunt scorpions and venomous snakes. And they're immune to some venoms. Anyway, I sure had fun today and I hope you did too. See you next time.